So it's Monday morning. This is Legion. I'm Keenan Cornelius. I'm the owner of this establishment. I've been doing Jiu Jitsu for the last 15 years. And I'm really fing good at it. Um, no, the truth is. I just opened this academy and we're still building it out and getting it all finished. As you can see here, we have finished the front desk. Would you like to get a shot of that, sir? This is our front desk area. This is where our members check into their class so we can keep track of who is doing what, what classes people are interested in, and adapt our schedule based on the demand for each class. Um, you'll see that sort of adaptation, that flexibility throughout the Legion Gym. Behind us here, we have a little display of our wares. Right here, we have the original Legion shirts and hoodies. These were made just by my sponsor, Hyperfly, to just kind of get us started, but we have a lot more on the way. And an entire, well, that's one of the secrets. I can't actually tell you that yet. We also have the lapel encyclopedia available there. These are legacy editions. There's only about 100 left, and we're never gonna make any more because we don't support plastic waste anymore, and I feel like we need to get away from this stuff, so we're gonna go digital. Entrepreneurship. All right, so here is my weightlifting area. I personally put a lot of value on weightlifting for two reasons. One, most important reason, I wanna be able to body slam people, so you gotta be strong. The second reason is weightlifting is a huge compliment to jiu-jitsu because jiu-jitsu is a sport that puts a lot of stretching movements on your joints. And if you're rolling with another human being who's bigger than you, you need a little extra padding and support and adding a little bit of muscle mass can help prevent injury. So I try and weight lift at least four times a week. I would like to lift every day, but I don't usually have the time or energy. But we have our squat racks. We got our box jumps. We got our free weights. And we have our deadlift platforms, which one is not fully built yet, but soon. This right here is a gi that we use for gi pull-ups to help optimize your grips, your strength, try and make the lifting experience as realistic to jiu-jitsu as possible. Over here is the bench press, the most important aspect of any gym. If you look here behind us, this room here is going to be our kids babysitting area or just overall kids area. In there is gonna be a bunch of cool toys. Not like the traditional, you know, plastic toys that kids just throw around and play with. We're gonna put a little climbing wall about yay high, a lot of soft matted areas for the kids to roll around on. I was thinking we'd go for sort of a spaceship theme kind of thing in there, and we'll have a uh, staff member who is qu highly qualified making sure that the kids are okay while the parents are training on the mats. And either this wall will eventually be completely see-through with glass, or we'll have a large viewing screen with a lot of cameras within so that the parents who are training will be able to look over from training, make sure their kids are okay on the big screen and everything's gonna be groovy. Um, hey, where are you going, pal? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't go in there yet. It's one of the secret areas. We're still building it out. What you see here before us, is the lobby area. This is a large open expanse of polished concrete, which we're going to be outfitting with lots of comfortable furniture, an acai shop, as well as a coffee station over there in the corner, um, complementing our merchandise store, which will also be over there. So I plan to keep this area open and as uncluttered as possible so that we can have functional events in here and get a lot of people in the doors because as some of you have been seen, our Sundays are popping, and we have a lot of people in here and I'd like to make it as cool and comfortable as possible. So if you look over here to my forward direction, we have the 9 a.m. class. So the 9 a.m. class just was created about a week ago, so it's still growing. It's not our largest class yet, but I wanna make sure that everyone has time to train. Depending on their schedules or life, whatever they can make it in, I wanna have a class available for people who have a busy schedule and they need to make jiu-jitsu work around their life rather than make their life work around jiu-jitsu. So I'll be providing tons of classes for everyone so you don't have to worry about moving things around to get your training in. <clears throat> the mat space itself is about 4,500 square feet. 
The area we're standing on is a exact copy of that, another 4,500 square feet. So between here to there is about 8,000 square feet of mat space, lifting space, and kids area. Here's our snake couch made of real African snake skin, black mamba actually. Very soft to the touch, highly resistant to bacteria. Just kidding, it's fake leather. All right, let's move on. What's up, Mark? These are the subflooring of the mats. These little squishy blocks are polyurethane blocks that are glued on to plywood, and this provides a nice soft surface to fall upon. So the, underneath these mats over here are layers of these to make sure that everyone stays injury free when impacting the mats. And then through here, I have a, go ahead, sir, come on through. Just doing a little tour. To my right here is the Matt Burn podcast room or any other podcast that we decide to start. I have a successful podcast series on YouTube called the Matt Burn podcast with my good friend, Josh Hanger. And it needs a home because we've been recording it out of my house. We're making this the podcast room. It's gonna be super sick and really cool. This room right here is one of my secret projects that I can't talk about yet, but I'm pretty excited for it. And it's gonna be one of the staples of what makes this gym very successful. This is just some uh, staff break room area, little kitchenette thing for my staff. Laundry room for when we have our ghee service set up. I'm looking into trying to figure out the best way to have a functional ghee service, ghee washing and drying service, which, which means if someone wants to leave their ghee here, we'll wash it for them and have it in a designated area for them to come pick up in the next day of training. Men's locker room, pretty big space here. I wanna make sure this stays as open as possible with a lot of locker room space and then that leads right into the men's restroom. And then women's is behind this door, or not this wall, I mean. The, do the doors are staggered because these are the kind of things you have to think about when you have a gym, but you can't have the men's locker room door line up directly with the women's locker room door. Otherwise, both doors open, people can see into each other's locker room. So for privacy, no one's ever gonna have to walk past the women's door, so there's no chance for anyone to like sneak a peek in there or like be creepy. <laughs> They're staggered. Women are down there. They got their own locker room space. Men are over here. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we gotta cut this tour short because I gotta go do my judo lesson with Justin Flores. Peace.